I've been working in the field of sustainable finance a long time and I was really excited about the development with the FSB uh, announcing the task force and when they called me and invited me to join I was thrilled to be able to to participate to offer uh, my perspectives the perspectives of Mercer and really help to try to um, establish a, a framework that would be uh, applicable across jurisdictions. Mercer published its first study on climate risk and the potential for climate scenarios to impact investment performance in 2011. We updated that in 2015 uh, and we continue to spend a, a significant amount of time helping investors think about this issue. And that was one of the reasons why we were uh, interested in participating in the task force and we've committed to uh, incorporating TCFD disclosures in our client reporting for the clients that participate in Mercer's delegated solution. There are a few things about the TCFD recommendations that are unique. Um, one of them, which I think is really important, is the fact that they apply not just to companies but also to asset managers and how they report to their asset owner clients and also asset owners and how they report to the end savers and the beneficiaries. And one of the early decisions of the task force was that we should really focus on the availability of climate related disclosures across the entire investment chain and really trying to create more supply of information but also more demand for information. So I think that's a really key and very unique characteristic. Um, I think we've also done a lot of work to try to make sure that this isn't just another set of disclosure requirements. We've really tried to focus on this being the consolidating set of disclosure requirements. And for that reason, we worked um, closely with a number of groups, but including CDP, the world's largest environmental reporting platform, who in for their 2018 uh, reporting incorporated the TCFD requirements and, and questions. Similarly, the PRI, the world's largest investment um, kind of you know, membership organization around responsible investment, also enhanced their annual reporting framework to align with the TCFD questions. So right away, you know, we had kind of half of the world's financial assets and thousands of companies reporting to CDP already aligning around the TCFD recommendations. And that's just our first year, you know. So I think we'll, we'll see continued momentum around that consolidation, which should make it easier for investors to analyze the information if they're getting it in a consistent format, and also easier for issuers, while on the one hand they're, they're being asked some tough questions, at least it's always the same set of questions. So they're not trying to scramble and reply to, you know, 50 different investor uh, requests. One of the key developments we're seeing is the kind of mainstreaming of sustainable finance and in particular climate. And I think historically companies have published a CSR report which has been a little bit different than you know, their mainstream annual report, maybe some cross-referencing. Um, because we're really moving beyond you know, some positive contributions a company might have to its community or, or other worthwhile efforts, really looking at the heart of a business what does it do? How does it generate long-term value for its, its shareholders and its investors? They need that information integrated into the core reporting, the narrative, the financials that a company is providing. It all has to be kind of part and parcel. And it's, you know, it's very aligned with the focus over the last few years that we've seen on integrated reporting as well. Um, so that's definitely, that's definitely the future. We recognize, however, from a task force perspective, we may not see perfection in year one. It's okay for companies to report bits and pieces and make different things available. Um, investors can access that information, but over time the goal really is to have that, uh, that consolidation and that integration. So now that the recommendations have been released, our work is not done. Uh, we're not focused on changing or evolving the recommendations. We're really focused on implementation, support, and monitoring. So a couple of things. This fall, September 2018, we'll be publishing a report, providing it to the FSB. Really uh, a report looking at the implementation uh, and adoption that we've seen so far. Uh, so that will track how many companies and investors are supporting the TCFD, who's putting it in action and really spotlight some of the different initiatives that we've seen really develop to foster 
TCFD adoption within different industry segments. So for example, um, UNEP FI worked with 16 big banks and Oliver Wyman to look at the potential um, to think about climate stress testing for, for bank lending portfolios. Uh, the World Business Council for Sustainable Development is working with the oil and gas sector to think about what TCFD adoption looks like for them. So we'll also be highlighting these kind of sector specific initiatives, which are very important because we, um, it's much more efficient for, of course, different industry sectors to work together. And we would like to see kind of industry best practice and consolidation as opposed to, you know, a million different approaches to TCFD adoption. In Canada, we've got 25 organizations so far who have articulated their support for the TCFD. So that includes investors and companies. And I know there are more Canadian organizations who, who can and should be articulating their support for TCFD. And I think we'll create a positive kind of snowballing momentum effect once organizations commit to, um, to adopting the principles of TCFD. And really, we're not, uh, you know, from a task force perspective, we're not looking for perfection out of the gate. We're looking for alignment and leadership signaling and the allocation of resources to really figure out these complicated issues. So I think if we can see more articulated support for the TCFD and really work on the ground to adopt that, that we'll see the, the different um, the services and the support that's required to really make that actionable, that will all come together. <music>